Well, we know there are a ton of people planning to travel to get a prime view of the total solar eclipse Monday, but driving during the eclipse can be risky. During the last solar eclipse back in 2017, national data shows a 31% increase in deadly crashes. So you need to be careful. And I've been talking with folks who are planning to drive to Ohio to watch the eclipse. And Allie, I know you have been too. So what does it really come down to? Timing? Yeah, that's really what it comes down to, whether you plan on viewing the eclipse or not. It's all about timing. A lot of people are going to be driving in places that usually don't get a lot of traffic. So whether you're geeking out to see the eclipse or you're just trying to get on with your Monday, you'll need to plan ahead. You know, you got to have your moon pies and your sun chips. Stacy Ziarko and her family have it all planned out from the snacks to t-shirts. It's so silly. We've got the total eclipse. You know, we're going to have a And this is the name of everybody. Uh, name in the of family. everybody in my immediate family that will be there. <laughs> Stacy and her mom are traveling to her grandmother's house in Lorraine, Ohio, in the path of totality. Part of the planning is beating traffic. We are planning to go down early Sunday morning and actually stay till Tuesday because um, where we're going is a pretty small town and a lake town. It's a vacation rate town where we're afraid of gridlock going home. It's this type of planning that everyone needs to take note of, whether you're planning of making a day of the eclipse or not. If you don't have to, you don't want to necessarily drive at that time. You want to make sure that, you know, you plan ahead. Adrian Woodland works for AAA. She says roads will be busy that day. AAA has seen increases in bookings for people trying to go to cities that have a good view of it. So you want to expect certain places to be busy. If you are not planning on viewing the eclipse, still remember to drive with your headlights on for when it goes dark and visor down for when the sun comes back into view. Also, keep in mind pedestrian traffic is going to be up. You're going to have a lot of pedestrians out that are looking up at the sky, which is, you know, again, they're not watching the roadway. So if you are driving, you want to be aware of that and look out for pedestrians that may not be paying attention. If you are viewing the eclipse, do not drive with your eclipse glasses on. Also, do not pull over to the side of the road to see the eclipse. Exit the roadway and park in a safe spot away from traffic. And if you are going to the path of totality, remember it might be busy with a lot of people and a lot of traffic. We're trying to go with this mentality of pack our patience and just have a good time. Like, we're, we're doing this for fun. Now, finally, I know it's cool, but do not try to take pictures or video of the eclipse while driving. Remember, it is illegal in Michigan to hold your phone while behind the wheel. Mm -hmm. So that happened last summer at that law. So yeah, yep, sure did. And you know, on some of these things, you, you may go, well, you know, yeah, you, you shouldn't do that. We know that, but people do these things. Yeah, exactly. A friendly reminder. If yes. I love that. And Absolutely. Stacey and her family, they planned ahead. I like their plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she's got everything down to a T. A T-shirt. I might get some fun <laughs> chips just to celebrate on my own. <laughs>